if I was if I had to again take a position on it, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the brand name, which is Bitcoin. I'm going to assume that it's the wrong price for the possibilities that it has. Uh, and I'm going to assume that the path forward from here is north. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. I've got some very bullish Bitcoin news. Before we go further, we are closely approaching 50,000 subscribers, so please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, Bitcoin is seeing a recovery. We are currently at $18,802 not far from 19,000. So good to see that rebound there. And remember what I've been sharing in my videos lately, guys, market cycles, right? And I said we were forming here another peak and we may see a, another drop, maybe down to 16,500, then work our way back up. I hope it doesn't go that way. I hope it just keeps going up. But looking at historical patterns, right, the data and trends, not my emotions, feelings or dreams, but rather how has the market performed historically? And we're seeing some similar for, uh, performance or trends or, or, or uh, patterns that are, are, are looking the same, right? And remember, in a bull market, you will have healthy corrections. Nothing goes up in a straight line. You will have sideways movement for a bit, right? And then... Um, you know, we usually see that that valley and then we work our way up. So just keep that in mind. Have those those market principles and cycles uh, in the back of your mind. So you see, you know, what how the market's playing out. And I always tell you guys to zoom out on the chart, look macro level, not weekly or daily. So when you look at the macro level chart here, we're on track, guys. There's nothing uh, unusual here. This is uh, the standard uh, for Bitcoin right now in, in the way it moves. And remember, uh, from a macro level, we're looking at the Bitcoin uh, stock to flow model, which is predicting a $100,000 Bitcoin price based on supply and demand economics. So very bullish outlook. So the, these movements, you know, even if Bitcoin goes back down to 16,000, I don't care because we are still on track from a macro level standpoint. If you're day trading, okay, I get it, that, that impacts you. But if not, if you're just a hodler, just sit back and relax, right? Now, insanely bullish, Glassnode CTO predicts Bitcoin's price will rise 10x from here. Uh, that's a very bullish statement because that will put us at about 180,000 or 190,000, right, based on the current price. So Glassnode's Raphael Schulzkraft has shared several on-chain metrics that he believes suggests Bitcoin will comfortably charge into six-figure price thresholds in the future. One thing's for sure, no one can accurately say, hey, this is what the price is going to be absolutely, right? No one can do that. We, we, we don't have a, a crystal ball here. However, based on the data analytics trends and, and the halving cycle and the demand we're seeing from the institutional investors, we can, of course, guarantee higher highs higher price points. What that number is going to be, I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. But what this guy did, Schultzcraft, he tweeted here six different uh, metrics that he's looking at that give six different outcomes, right? Um, and he's using historical patterns. He's just using math. So he's looking at, you know, one of them, for example, suggests that Bitcoin could exceed $200,000. And for each of the indicators that he used, Schultzcraft measured the gains produced when the metric moved from a similar position in 2017 until it posted an all-time high later that year. He then multiplied Bitcoin's current price by the same percentage increase. So anyone can do this, right? You just look at the uh, move. Maybe you go a bit more conservative than what happened in 2017 and you still get new all-time highs. Um, and he's, you know, seeing some price points like $286,000, you know, uh, another one is $138,000. So different, different metrics here that you can go through. I don't want to bore you guys with each individual metric. I think you can read this for yourself, but the point is the math adds up. Um, the trends and data all add up. Now, past performance is not a true indicator of future performance, but with the record-breaking demand that we are seeing from companies like MicroStrategy, Michael Saylor is a personal investor. They're putting millions in Bitcoin. We saw Mass Mutual put 100 million into Bitcoin. 
these things are going to drive the prices to new all-time highs. So it's not just the technical analysis that this guy, the other guy was doing, but also what is the demand we're seeing, right? So Michael Saylor, you know, he's been, this guy is very smart. I Guys, I highly recommend you research him. He was a first mover in the tech stocks like Amazon, Google, Apple. He did very well for himself. So he knows what he's doing. He's not some BS gambler, as some people would call him. And he's been pushing back on the FUD that people say he's being, um, uh, you know, irresponsible with the company's money. But he, here's what he had to say. MicroStrategy is not an investment company, I see, per the 1940 Investment Company Act. And I see is a company that invests greater than um, or equal to 40% of its assets, less cash and government securities in securities. Per the SEC, Bitcoin isn't a security, ergo Holding Bitcoin doesn't cost MicroStrategy to become an investment company. Um, in addition, he said here, MicroStrategy uh, is not an ETF slash ETP. ETFs and ETPs exist to invest in stocks, bonds, or commodities. They're investment companies poor per the 40 Act, 1940 Act. Like Apple and Microsoft, MicroStrategy is an operating company traded on a stock exchange we just happen to hold Bitcoin in our treasury reserves. So once again, pushing back on the fact that even the CNBC host was like, hey, uh, are you uh, in crypto hedge fund now because you're putting your cash reserves in Bitcoin? And it's like, no, they're still a company. They still provide a service. They still build a product. They still make cash, but they want to maintain their cash position, their reserves, and, and have that wealth grow versus having it uh, dilute because of inflation. So people are still not wrapping their heads around it. And I think if you listen to Michael Saylor in the interviews, he explains it very well what he's trying to achieve here. And he likens, uh, you know, Bitcoin as the next disruptive tech solution, just like Facebook you know, disrupted uh, uh, the way we communicate and uh, social, you know, obviously the whole social media place and uh, how we're connected to each other, how we share our photos. So he talked about that. He talked about Amazon and the marketplace, Google and uh, search and, and phone books and all that. So you guys know the disruption that these companies cause and tech is here to stay. It's growing. We're headed to the digital economy and Bitcoin and crypto is going to be, be a big part of that, right? It's, it's the natural evolution that's taking place. And I like what Tyler Winklevoss had to say about this. He said, the smartest people in the room buying the Bitcoin quietly. And he's right. He's right. Those who are getting in now ahead of the curve, right? We saw billionaire Paul Tudor Jones, uh, business intelligent from MicroStrategy, which we were just talking about, right? Stanley Druckenmiller, Bill Miller, all of these folks, Mass Mutual, I mean, just jumped in. These folks are quietly doing it. Yes, some of them are going on TV. Um, obviously, you got Jack Dorsey Square. You got Guggenheim Partners. So a lot of folks are putting their money into Bitcoin and crypto. So what do you think is going to happen, guys? The supply and demand economics is going to drive the price up. Limited supply, high demand. And Bitcoin right now is, is the hard money, man, because even gold is getting exposed. Look, they're always going to end up mining more gold, right? Uh, it's it's there. It's something that occurs in the earth, right? But look at this. There's a fake gold problem. Uh, and you guarantee you won't see Peter Schiff, the clown, address this. He'll go trash Bitcoin, but he won't address these things, right? There is a fake gold problem on the black market, guys. So mystery of $2 billion of loans backed by fake gold in China. This is on the Nikkei Asia. So there's a problem here. And as you can imagine, where there's smoke, there's fire, there's going to be more of these things coming out. And that's going to drive the value of gold or even it's, uh, uh, you know, people's people looking to, in, you know, put something in a store of value. It's going to uh, turn them off. Right. They're going to want to go to Bitcoin, which cannot be manipulated can, uh, in, in a way that it can be uh, duplicated or there's fake versions is there and it's trusted it's accountable it's on the blockchain so very bullish for bitcoin and we already see money's coming out of uh, gold etfs and going into bitcoin finally here this is uh just a sign of things to come bitwise crypto trust which literally launched just launched this week uh jumped 72 percent since debut while market sags 
So we're talking about the crypto market. Uh, the Bitco Bitwise 10 crypto index fund has vaulted more than 70% since its debut on Wednesday, the latest sign of an insatiable appetite for risk assets in global financial markets. No, more like new asset class that is uh, more hard money. And obviously a big part of the fund is Bitcoin, right? So people are moving away uh, from traditional assets and putting their money into crypto. So great sign. Great sign for those of us who are here early holding crypto. And yes, guys, we are here early. I know some of you get impatient. You see Bitcoin drop two grand tomorrow and you're like, oh, no, you can't. That's not the way to invest. You can't move by emotions. You, they, you know, oh, no, this is dumping. XRP is dumping. This is happening. Zoom out. Zoom out and understand the market cycles. Nothing goes up in a straight line. So, guys, what do you think about this news? Do you think Bitcoin could definitely 10x? From here, we're look. Maybe we go over a hundred thousand dollars next year, right? If, if this trend uh, continues, remember what Michael Saylor said: Amazon and and Google uh, and Apple are on their way with their cash reserves, and they have billions in cash reserves, guys. So I'm very bullish. The math adds up. We're seeing the demand. So all signs point to north. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Hit the thumbs up button, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.